Hello, happy friends. Today, we're going to meet a group of living beings that I absolutely love. Today, we're going to get to know the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom is divided into two main groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrate animals, like this elephant, this parrot, or this little frog, have a skeleton. They have bones. Look, look! This is the skeleton of an elephant. This is the skeleton of a frog. And this is the skeleton of a fish. Invertebrate animals, however, have no bones. They don't have an internal skeleton. Like this ant. Or this slow snail. Within the group of vertebrate animals are mammals, like these funny dogs, birds, like our friend the parrot, reptiles, like this gecko, which is a kind of lizard, fish like this fearsome shark and amphibians like this little jumping frog Remember, there are five types of animals that have bones There are five types of vertebrates Mammals Birds Reptiles Fish and amphibians. Within the group of invertebrates, in other words, those animals that don't have bone, there are arthropods, like this shy crab, mollusks, like this octopus and its eight tentacles, annelids, like this worm, Echinoderms, like this spiky sea urchin, sponges, and nadarians, like this shiny jellyfish. They really do have some strange names. Arthropods, mollusks, annelids, echinoderms, sponges and nadarian really are very curious aren't they now let's see if we can distinguish which animals are vertebrates and which are invertebrate is this dancing bear a vertebrate or invertebrate of course! Bears are vertebrate animals. They have bones and they are also mammals. What about this slug? Slugs are invertebrate animals. They are mollusks. They have no bones and are very soft. And this eagle? Eagles do have bones. They are birds. They're animals, vertebrate animals. And finally, these bees. Hmm, are they vertebrates or invertebrates? Bees do not have an internal skeleton and they do not have bones. They are arthropods. In other words, they are invertebrate animals. And what's more, they make very delicious and healthy honey. Well, we've already learnt more about the animal kingdom and about vertebrate and invertebrate animals. 
Let's take a look over it so we don't forget. Let's review. The animal kingdom is divided into two main groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrate animals have bones, an internal skeleton and are classified into five groups. Mammals, birds, reptiles, fish and amphibians. Invertebrate animals have no internal skeleton, no bones, and are classified into six groups. Arthropods, mollusks, annelids, echinoderms, sponges, and nadarians. Now, before we say goodbye, I want to tell you something very important. We must always take care of nature, the home of all animals and living beings, including you and me. If we all manage to keep the forests and the seas clean, we will manage to make the world a better place. Goodbye, happy friends.